A popular children's toy has become a target for thieves. Police say there have been a number of thefts of Legos with hundreds of dollars worth of plastic bricks being swiped. Action News reporter Caroline Goggin live for us in Ben Salem with more on this peculiar investigation. Caroline. Well, Gray, this is yet another retail theft issue. We know that incidents of retail theft, they've been on the rise since the pandemic. And police here in Ben Salem Township tell us they're up 33% in the past two years. Right now, they're on the lookout for these thieves who are targeting a very interesting item. It is one of the most popular toys of all time. Children like Henry Young love their Legos. You can build whatever you want with them. But Lego has become more than just a toy. It's now a hot item for thieves to get their hands on. These are Lego sets with 4,500 pieces and are worth three to four hundred dollars. Police say over the last few months, the township has dealt with several cases of Lego theft. The most recent was on May 23rd, when a man hit the Barnes and Noble in the Neshaminy Mall. Took a Lego set worth approximately $250. That same Barnes and Noble was hit back on February 10th. Then on February 29th, a Lego thief hit the target across the street. Another man hit that same target on March 21st and April 3rd. And on April 5th, back at Barnes and Noble, another Lego thief struck. In all, these men stole more than $2,500 in Legos. They are worth so much money. If people were able to steal these from stores and not pay anything for them, they can resell them online for a significant profit. This has become a problem across the country, especially in Southern California. In Los Angeles, police have been investigating a Lego theft ring for months. In one home, they recovered more than 2,800 boxes of them. Yeah, it's a very odd product to take. Back in Ben Salem Township, some shoppers were surprised to hear about the hot new item, while others understood its value. So I guess if somebody's stealing them, they could really sell them on the market for a lot of money. Yeah, the sergeant here in the township really calls this Lego theft a crime of opportunity. He said right now police are looking to identify the people responsible and, of course, hold them accountable. We are live in Ben Salem Township. I'm Caroline Goggin for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Gray. Okay, Caroline, thanks for the update.